The first thing that I'll talk about now is what are the main features that are going to come over from Hedgehog and into Buildmaster. I didn't really plan or prepare, but there are two really interesting features that I want to talk about for this. The first one is the Buildmaster pipeline engine that we will be replacing with the Hedgehog pipeline engine. Now, uh, on the face of it, they're going to look exactly the same. But what's cool about these, the difference between these two engines is that Hedgehog basically turns everything into OtterScript. The basics of a Buildmaster pipeline, or really any pipeline, look something like this. We start off with integration or build or something like that. I'll put build on this side. You're, we will build our artifacts there. We'll go to integration. We'll go to test. And then finally, we'll end up at production. This pipeline, obviously, you can add as many number of stages as you'd like, you know, deploy to any number of these different environments, targets in each stage. So what, what a stage looks like, and this is really where the pipeline differences start coming into play. So let's take any given stage here. For example, the integration stage. Before we go into that stage, what we've got are things that we call approvals. But the approvals look at things like, is a, did a user check something off? Did a certain number of people in a group look at something and say, this is good? So this could be like smoke test pass. This could be uh, two developers or two security engineers signed off and said that that looks good. We also have automatic approvals as well. So for example, does a, one example might be, does a variable uh, branch, for example, equal master? So some of these are manual approvals, some of these are automatic approvals. That's one aspect of a pipeline stage. Another aspect is the deployment windows. And the deployment windows basically just give you a time frame that you can deploy on. So all of these things on the left-hand side of a pipeline stage are the things that are required to get into the stage. In the middle of the pipeline stage are what we call targets. Okay, so a target will be, for example, deployed to a certain environment, integration server, something like that. And it's a series of targets. This could be a server, this could be the cloud, it could be anything like this. So anytime you go to the integration stage, you have a checklist of things that you have to do to get into that stage. You have the things that are required to do to get out that happen during that stage. And then at the end of the stage, you have things like notifications come up. For example, it might be emailing users. It might be uh, advancing to the next stage or anything like that. So basically, a stage breaks down to the before, during, and after components. Each pipeline stage in Buildmaster today has the before, the during, and the after. One of the challenges with this, though, is the way that the Buildmaster pipeline engine works. Buildmaster behind the scenes models all of these things differently. And when it comes time to deploy to that pipeline stage, basically what Buildmaster does is it will kick off an execution. An execution is where we're running that Otter script and deployment plan. It will execute these to each of those different stages running that plan. What that means though is inside of here, you can't really use that many, you can't run custom Otter script here. Some of the things like if you want to deploy to a variable server, you can't specify I want to deploy to say dollar sign server name. So that's one of the limitations that we have with Buildmaster now. What Hedgehog does is Hedgehog, instead of separating all of these out from a implementation standpoint, what Hedgehog does is Hedgehog treats this entire sequence of events as one giant execution. So what that means now is in these, in these pre-stages, everything here is being executed with Otter script. In fact, before deployment, you can run some custom Otter script that will then set up and determine the targets that you're going to execute to. Inside of the target, each of these will then run their own Otter script plans. And the advantage of this is you're 
having a lot of flexibility over the input in each of these target scripts. And then on the right side, all of this will also be otter script as well. So what this really ends up doing is it turns, it basically gives you a whole lot more flexibility and allows you to target variables instead of uh, role names. And all told, this, this whole thing is happening in OtterScript. It gives you a lot more transparency and logs so that you can see how everything is coming together. Hmm. I would say this is, the, this is probably one of the biggest feature requests that we've had over the years. It took us a while to figure out how to do it inside of Hedgehog. It works. We've got uh, lots of good examples of it in action. So now that we have, have it sort of a proof of concept, we can bring it easily into Buildmaster. That, that's the largest thing that we're bringing on the pipeline side of things. And the other big feature that we're going to add to Buildmaster 6.2 is rafts. The exciting thing about rafts are, if you think about how Buildmaster is currently storing its plans, its mm -hmm. pipelines, PowerShell scripts, text files, all of these different assets inside of Buildmaster are stored in different tables inside of the database. It's fine. They're versions, so when you edit a plan, it just you know saves a new version to the to the database table. No big deal. The problem though is a lot of people have said that's fine. I'm glad that you have versioning for all of your plans, but I would like to store them in Git. I would like to see them outside of Buildmaster. Mm -hmm. That's what rafts do. If you think about a raft, the best way I describe a raft is it's almost like a virtualized file system. So instead of having inside of Buildmaster all of these different database tables like the uh, the Otter script table, like having the PowerShell scripts table, all of these things, now they're just stored inside of a raft. What's great about rafts is you can export them from Buildmaster. So now picture this. You can take all of your Buildmaster configuration and easily export it to another instance. You can also do things like have a CI/CD process for your own CI/CD scripts. It gets a little bit meta, but it's a pattern that we've seen with Otter. For example, being able to take configuration that you have for one environment and move it from one environment to another using a sort of CI/CD process, that's something that Rafts enable. Biggest advantage to Rafts though are you now can develop them outside of Buildmaster, inside of Buildmaster, and have a lot more portability and flexibility with some of your assets inside. By and large, I think that's the main benefits of the Hedgehog's pipeline system and the rafts that we're bringing over to Buildmaster 6.2.